In this video, you'll find a demonstration of how to construct and store CF11 columns. CF11 cellulose columns are used to remove white blood cells from malaria-infected whole blood. Column assembly requires Wattman CF11 cellulose powder, Wattman grade 105 lens cleaning tissue, 10 cubic centimeter plastic syringes, centered, not offset, desiccant and ziplocking bags for storage, forceps, spatula, and scissors. CF11 cellulose powder is a lung irritant. Avoid inhalation of powder by using a mask, face shield, or working in a fume hood. Remove the plunger from the syringe. Using forceps, lay two one centimeter squares of lens paper or a rectangle folded in half to form two one centimeter squared layers flat at the bottom of the syringe barrel to cover the tip opening. Add approximately 11 loosely packed cubic centimeters of CF11 powder to the syringe barrel. Check that the lens paper is fully covering the syringe opening before pouring the powder in. Insert the plunger and pack the CF11 powder down as far as possible to approximately the 5.7 milliliter mark. Add more powder to reach this level if necessary. Columns should be shipped and stored in tightly sealed ziplocking bags with approximately 10 milligrams of regularly replaced desiccant until use. In humid conditions, columns should not be stored for longer than two months. Unused CF11 powder should be stored in a ziplocking bag in an airtight container with regularly replaced desiccant.